I tried to make it plain that um, I, it's alleged in the reports that have been made and in the case against me that I had said that the uh, wife of the Sultan of Tranganu was um, uh, officially involved in TIA. Mm -hmm. And I've tried to clarify that that is a mistaken understanding. What I said, and it's quite clear, the grammar is quite clear, I was saying that the Sultan himself was officially involved in the TIA and that he was the wife of the Sultan, of the Sultana. So I never said that the Sultana, I said the Sultana whose husband, the Sultan, was officially involved in the TIA. And the complaint against me is an allegation that I said she was officially involved. And my book makes absolutely clear that the um, scandal of 1MDB began after the TIA ceased to exist and was changed into 1MDB. And I actually, in the book, also say that um, one of the reasons that uh, the TIA closed down was that the, uh, the Sultan, who was the chairman of the board, was uh, concerned about some of the ways that, uh, you know, Jolo was attempting to run the fund. He removed the TIA, um, and indeed, there is no um, allegation in my book. Um, quite the opposite. I also make the point that to say that um, uh, any involvement with Joe Lowe um, at this period of time in 2008, you know, involve, you know, um, implies uh, a conspiracy or any involvement with 1MDB. Um, 1MDB was only only became a matter of concern in 2014 or 2015. Uh, so how could anybody um, in 2008 uh, be expected to know what was going to happen in the future? In my book, I was just explaining the background, how Joe Lowe says he got his job at TIA. And this is on the record. This is what Joe Lowe said is the way he got the job, that he was introduced to the Sultan who gave him the job. Um, there's no impropriety there. Uh, no one has ever complained that Joe Lowe said that. And certainly, this is many years before there was any allegation that things might not be going right with the later fund. So um, it seems to me that the lawyers um, who are trying to sue me for 300 million ringgit, together with my colleagues in this book, are seeking to create a false impression. Do you have to come again? I have been told that there are three separate cases outstanding against me that have not been closed since 2015. The investigations into me for spreading false news that were announced in 2015, 2016, and I gather also one in 2018, are still open against me, and the police want to, me to come back to make three separate statements. And that was a shock and a surprise to me because I assumed that those cases had been closed and that I was no longer being investigated for my statements on 1MDB. And any date that you have to come back? No, we haven't, we haven't arranged that. I have to, you know, the police were very polite and pleasant about this, but it's a very threatening uh, thought that I'm still being investigated under these very serious charges that, uh, if found guilty, I could be in prison for 20 years, and I thought that these investigations had been dropped against me. So I'm concerned that a police report has been made to uh, give substance to what is actually a civil attempt to, to get 300 million ringgit from, from me.